Hi everyone, I'm just going to give a little uh, talk on um, some some pissing about I've been doing with a uh, with an LCD screen uh, and uh, broken connections to it. Uh, you'll see here that this LCD screen is um, connected by one of these very thin substrates which is uh, sort of sellotape 3M type stuff with I would guess some sort of graphite um, connectors either printed or painted on it. Now if you think about it this is very difficult to actually make any substitute connections to. There are plenty of things on uh, YouTube showing you how to connect uh, things with copper connections, but these are extremely difficult. So what I've done is a little bit of experimentation and then I'll show you how I actually achieved connections properly. Uh, the, the things I experimented with were this uh, black paint which is available on eBay. Um, it, well, it's not paint, it's sort of gloop really and is uh, very thick, electrically not particularly good, and um, so I had to discard that. Um, the next stuff I used was, or I took a look at, was this sort of Ecolit silver loaded paint, which is electrically very good, but quite hopeless for mechanical properties, so I had to discard that. The last stuff I tried was this um, silver-loaded stuff that comes in a syringe, eBay. It costs about um, a pound for a quarter of a millimetre, quarter, quarter of a millilitre, and um, this does work but it's too thick to actually use uh, straight out of the syringe. So uh, what I did was I got a little blob of it uh, and um, thinned it a bit with universal thinners, which is the sort of thinners you use for car paint. And um, uh, in, the, in the proportion of about um, two-thirds of the this, so uh, say a drop of this and a very small drop of the thinners and that made a s suspension that I could actually use and get a small drop onto which is what I needed. So what I've got here is um, 0.1 millimeter wires and they're 0.1 millimeter co uh, copper which is there, it's, it's actually uh, coated with the sort of um, coating which will disappear if you put it into a really hot soldering iron. So um, if you dip it into hot, a blob of hot solder, uh, it will tin, tin the ends of the wire and so then you don't have to do it mechanically, which would be a real pain in the neck with... Um, stuff so thin. So this was the stuff I finally used and I'll just zoom in on this a bit now so that you can get some idea of what I've done. Uh, I've got two lines of um, uh, sort of plasticine stuff which is sort of ch the children's plasticine and that you can actually hold the wires still while you get, you get them in a position where you can put a blob of, of stuff on. So what I did was I positioned the each wire right onto the glass substrate and then you can make the connections with the thin thinned down version of this stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in now, get a closer picture and you'll be able to see roughly what I've, what I've actually done. So I'm going right in on it now.
So here's the stuff I've actually stuck these copper wires to. There's the second lot. And here are the, here's the actual LCD screen edge. And you can see that I've, um, I've left three of the connectors unconnected at the moment. And I will complete those and then tell you if the whole idea actually worked or not. So what you can see is that I've um, put a blob of the silver-loaded stuff from eBay onto each of these wires. And that's pegged it to down to the what these connections on the edge of the LCD screen, which I would guess are sputtered aluminium. Uh, and the, obviously, you can't. So there's no way of ma you making a solder connection to them. So you've you've got to think of another way of doing it. And this is what I've come up with. Uh, so I'll um, I will complete these. Uh, there are about uh, about 30 of these connections. And um, this stuff is quite good because it will provide the sort of connection to the, to the substrate which uh, has got just enough mechanical connection uh, strength to um, hold it in position and make the electrical connection. And I, what I'm then going to do is put a line of epoxy resin across the top. And um, so I haven't actually done that uh, at the moment because otherwise it would obscure what I've been doing and uh, would have been useless from the video point of view. So what I've got to do now is complete these last three connections uh, this stuff takes a fair amount of time to dry, so uh, that's why you've got to hold it all uh, in perfect position while it, it uh, flashes off uh, into the atmosphere. And uh, hopefully these connections will work. Uh, this actually, uh, if you make a, do make a slight mistake with your... With your um, little drops of connection stuff, uh, which I did make on a couple of these, and you can see this one that I've got centre screen now. I've just run a needle down the middle of it to, to give it uh, the electrical um, separation that's needed. And of course you can test these by the lifting up the far end of the wires, which I'll show you now. Uh, you can see these are these are tinned in the same way. Uh, you can lift those up and just um, test your connections to see that you haven't got any shorts. And if you find a short, then of course you've uh, you've got to do something about it before you get to the stage of putting any um, any glue on. And there's another one I've done. I did actually make three uh, <coughs> shorted connections very very easy to do but of course with the with the glass substrate you can just scrape it off again with a needle and get away with it so uh, I'm now going to uh, connect up my last three um, connections like you've got here and then I'll show you it when it's uh, got a bit of um, the epoxy resin on it and then hopefully I'll show you it with the screen working. Here's the uh, connections all made. So it's just a little shot. Um, I'll do a bit more of a close-up. So there they are. They're all um, insulated from each other. I've checked all that. And this is just before I put on the the epoxy resin to um, give it some uh, give it some proper strength. Obviously, if you tried to uh, take these all away from the table and uh, and connect them, then um, uh, they'd all just break off. Uh, there's not enough strength in the in the attachment medium. 
although it's very conductive, uh, it hasn't got a lot of physical strength, but it's got just about enough. And I'm now going to put on the epoxy. I'll give you a shot of it after that. Okay, there we are. That's, um, that's with the uh, connections all set in epoxy. And uh, so uh, it's just hardening off at the moment and we'll uh, connect it all up and see whether it works or not. Um, so that uh, connection system actually works very well, it seems. Um, no problem at all. Uh, the connections are on this particular LCD screen about um, one millimeter apart. Uh, I think if you had to do, say, a television screen um, or something like that where you've probably got five times the density of wires uh, leading to the LCD screen, uh, this would uh, be much more difficult. But of course they don't actually make connections with such uh, cheap and cheerful um, carbon-based stuff. Uh, so I don't think you'd find um, cheap um, LCD screens on that sort of equipment. So here you go. Uh, so the method works. And um, for anybody else who might want to do a similar repair, um, there is a method of doing it. Okay, cheerio.